Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in front of us today, we do have a case by Spigen. This is gonna be their ultra hybrid tea. I've actually been waiting a little while for this. This was out of stock, so it took a little time to arrive, but finally, this is here. So there is a cool thing about this case, which I will be talking about, but other than that, let's go ahead and check this out. So let's open it up. All we have to do is pull the tab, and on the inside, we do get the case inside of this plastic pouch. And if we do take it out, here is a first look at that case. So again, this is their ultra hybrid series. So basically their clear series, and this is also their MagFit series. So they're MagSafe compatible cases. And as you can see, we do have our MagSafe ring right there. So the main difference this case has over the other ultra hybrids is gonna be the button right there. So this actually does have a button going above that camera control button. And so you're able to use it just like the original button, which is something I am excited to check out. The only other case that I've tried that on is going to be the Beats case that Apple released. And other than that, this is gonna be the second case that I'm trying that actually has this feature. And this is also a third party case. So let's see how well they've done it. So taking that inner plastic off and placing our phone inside, just go ahead and plop it on. If we do push in and boom. That is it, so very nice and snug fit. So if we do take that back layer off now, here's a look at that beautiful natural titanium iPhone 16 Pro with the clear case above it and the max safe ring. So if we do take a look at the back, we do get a very nice slip going around the camera lenses. So if you do drop it on its face, it should be fine in most circumstances. Again, we do have our MagSafe magnets, which I will go ahead and test out. Other than that, really not much else on the back of this case, obviously because it is a clear case. On the right side, we do get our button for our power button. We do get two little holes right here. That is if you do use a lanyard, you can use that. And then we also do get that capacitive button right there. On the bottom, we do get our charging port cutout and our speaker go cutout. And on the left side, we do get our action button and also our volume rocker. It does say speaking on the left side, which is very minimal. And that is something I like about speaking cases. They do keep the branding to the lowest. If we do take a look at the top, you can see that we do have that air cushion technology. Basically, there are little cutouts on the edges of the case. And that is so when you do place your phone inside, it can keep some air in there and actually absorb that shock so the phone doesn't get damaged. If we do move up front, as you can see, I do have a third party screen protector on here and it does work perfectly fine, which is good to know. Up top, we do get our cutout for our speaker grill, so we're not gonna be losing out on any sound quality there. And if we do take a look at the sides, we can see that we do have a lip going above that display. Even though I do have a screen protector on, here the lip still does go above that display so if you do drop it on its face it should be fine in most circumstances all right so now moving to the main attraction about this case in my opinion which is going to be that button right there as you can see it does have a white outline and it is a white button so if i do go ahead and click it in three two one very nice and easy to click so this feels even better than the actual button of the phone because it's actually a little higher. The button of the phone is a little lower inside of the phone, so you kind of have to push it a little more, but this just feels perfect. And if we do try the haptic feedback, well, that is that is phenomenal. So honestly, Spigen has done a great job with this. And as you can see, I am sliding and it's working perfectly fine. If I do double tap, you know, change modes, go to exposure, bring that down, bring it up. This is great. So honestly, this button does pass the test for me and it feels really nice. Again, I do think this actually feels better than the actual button on the phone because it's a little higher up there. So when you are clicking it, it's just a tad bit easier to click, which is something Spigen has done a great job. All right, now that we've checked that camera control button out, let's go to move on to our power button in three, two, one. As always, Spigen does a great job very nice and easy to click very smooth clicks as well and if we do move on to our action button again very nice and easy to click and then our volume marker once again very nice and easy to click so again vegan does a great job with these buttons and now that we have the camera control button and they are actually making a button for that now I can tell you that Spigen has nailed it. So that feels perfect. Finally, before ending this video off, I do wanna test out that MagSafe. So I do have a MagSafe power bank right here. And if I do plop it on and turn it on, let's see, we should get our charge. Yep, 
it is charging and we do have a nice and snug fit so it fits perfectly which is really nice and if i do go ahead and give it a nice shake in three two one that did not move at all so very nice and strong magnets that is good to know so again Spigen has been doing a great job whenever they make something uh, they usually do make it really nice other than their MagSafe when they did first start, I hated their MagSafe, the magnets weren't too strong, but now they've nailed the MagSafe, the buttons, and now the camera control button. So overall, this case is gonna be a great case, and I will definitely recommend this for people that are looking for a case with a camera control button right there. This is probably one of the best you can get, and especially if you do want a clear case, this is the one to go for. So that will basically wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see y'all in the next one.